Hey everybody, it's Lynn from Let's Crafts. Today I'm going to share with you how I made those turtles on the last project on the uh, uh -huh. recycled, altered frame, whatever. Shadow box. <laughs> I'll spit it out in a minute. I'm going to use some Sculpey Original, some Super Sculpey Original. I really, really don't care for this product. It is very brittle when it's when it's baked. But since I'm not going to be using it for any type of support or anything, I'm just going to be sculpting an element with it. I find it's all right. I've just got a, about a quarter sized little ball of it. And I'm using it because it's pretty soft. It's pretty workable. You could use Sculpey 3, you could use Primo, you could use anything. You could even use original Sculpey, the white. Right, I'm just mashing it down and giving it just a bit of a peek down the center. Then I've got my um, color shaper. If you don't have one of these, don't worry about it. It's not necessarily necessary. You could use a knitting needle. The back of a paintbrush. All I'm doing is marking a bit of a line around the turtle's shell. Alright, and I'm going to kind of smooth that out just a bit. Right, and then I'm going to take that knitting needle this will stay in focus and I'm gonna start to make some details on the turtle shell and if you don't know what a turtle shell looks like just Google it. Use Google Images and Google. You can Google a turtle shell or just a turtle. As simple as that. And then I'm dividing those little sections that I just detailed in half and making some lines around the edge. Then taking your knitting needle or whatever you're using and just rocking it up from the edge. Alright. It really is that simple to do, and it's just the shell. I'm going to bake it just the shell. And then I'm going to 
form the turtle itself and add the shell. And the reason I do that is so that I can press the shell down onto the body of the turtle without distorting it. So I'm going to bake this and then I'll be back. And I'm going to bake it at the recommended temperature and time that's listed on the box. Okay, this time I've rolled out um, a little more than double what I rolled out the first time. I've rolled it into a bit of a snake and divided it into probably a little less than half. This will be the body itself. This will be the head. And these will be the flippers. The back flippers will be slightly smaller than the front flippers. Alright. Alright. So, let's get started with the flippers. The flippers are so simple. And really and truly you don't need to worry about your proportions because you can always just cut off whatever you don't use. <clears throat> All right, sorry about that. Now all I've done is a little bit of a flipper shape and then pinched the opposite end kind of thin. Try to show you that again. Now obviously you're not worried about matching the flippers because a turtle in its swimming stage wouldn't have its flippers in the same position. Alright. So there would be our flippers. So we're going to do the same thing for the back. Alright. And then I'll just make another one. Now for the tail, I'm going to sort of pinch off a little bit of the body. You want his tail to be pretty thick, because like I said, this clay is pretty brittle, and you don't want to knock his tail off. So just a little something like that. If I can get my fingers out of the way. Alright. Okay, now before we shape the head, I'm going to roll out the, um, the bottom of the turtle. The belly of the turtle, so to speak. And I don't want to do this on my pasta machine because I want it quite a bit thicker than even my thickest setting. Alright. Now I'm going to take the shell. And just lay it on the belly. And then with my X-Acto, I'm going to cut out around it. And you don't have to be too exact with this. Just make sure your blade is up and down. As opposed to like this or like that. Alright. 
Okay. Now let's start building. We know that the upper flippers will go somewhere about like that. bottom flippers and our little tail give those a press now you can shape their directionality however you want to now we're going to make the head I know that for me it's just a matter of feel. I could probably do this with my eyes closed, but I'm going to pinch and pinch. And then I'm going to push it back a little bit. And then I'm going to form the neck. Then I'm going to pinch it down. Alright, so you've got something like that. Then I'm going to take my ball tool. And just decide where you want the eye whether you want it to have a more cartoon look which would mean it would be closer to the bill of the turtle and then looking from above draw an imaginary line over to the other side and do the same thing Alright, so your turtle has two eyes. And if you think you need the mouth, find your knitting needle. And I would use my smaller one if I could find it. Huh? And just give him a little mouth line really close to the chin. And again, if you think he needs nostrils, this stuff probably really won't show if you're going to do the um, pouncing technique on it. But you can still say you did it. <laughs> All right. Now, to the main reason why I bake the shell first. I'm going to take a little baking bond. Or some TLS. Translucent liquid sculpey. Or whatever you've got. I just, that just happens to be what I have. Alright, then decide which is your top and bottom. Normally, I would have made a little bit more of a point. Alright, we're going to kind of line it up with the belly part. And then we're going to press. And the reason you're pressing is because you don't want a, a gap. See, on this side, I've still got a bit of a gap. Take that knitting needle again, and where we made the grooves in the shell, we're just going to make grooves in the belly area. And 
then I'm going to take my ball tool again and I'm just going to give the whole thing some texture. The fins and I'll do all four of them and the tail and also the head. And I won't do the bill just around the eye and slightly up the top of the head. And the reason I'm going to do that because I'm going to give it a little bit of a line where the bill is and then a couple of lines down the top of his head. Okay, I don't know why it quit videoing. I just changed the battery. I just mm -hmm, charged the battery and I emptied my card so I'm not sure what is going on. Alright, I'm just going to add some texture. To all four fins with my ball tool and as I said I did on the sides of the head a little bit up on top and then I made some lines and I didn't texture the beak area alright so since I filmed this much of it I might as well just finish it Make it again. I just bake it again for the same amount of time I did the first time. Alright. Alright, here it is out of the oven. Hopefully, it all got filmed. I don't know what was up with my camera, but never done that before so at this point you could um, use alcohol inks to color it um, acrylic paint of course um, before it was baked you could have rubbed some mica powders on you could use Inca golds at this point um, metallic lusters there's lots and lots of possibilities all right cute cute little sea turtle all right i shall holler at y'all later bye now